Let's talk about the plans I have for the space I'm building. The body is going to be painted a mix of this white here, which is like an automotive paint. Um, so yeah, it's white, nothing fancy about it, made for cars, you can spray it on. But it's not gonna be a white guitar, it's gonna be pink. And um, not just any pink, the pinkest pink. The pinkest pink is developed by an artist named Stuart Semple, and because of him, I'm going to name the bass, the Sempler bass. So what's so special about Stuart Semple, other than the fact that he has made the pinkest pink? There's a whole story that went along with it, that goes with the artist Anish Kapoor, who bought the rights to use the blackest black, also known as Vanta Black. And so this was sort of like a counter move, and Stuart Semple released this and said anyone can use this color except for Anish Kapoor. So I am going to make a bass guitar that anyone can play except for Anish Kapoor, because he won't share his black. I've always liked sort of kind of provocateur stories like that, so I was gonna jump on that. So, mixing these two together, I'm gonna try my hand at spraying it on with a spray gun. It's gonna be my first time trying that, so that's gonna be fun. Now, once the body is painted, I'm going to apply a clear coat. And normally, I would use a wipe-on poly. And I'm still gonna use a wipe-on poly, but I'm gonna mix that up with the same pigment. So I end up with something like this, which is that poly mixed with the pink, pig, uh, the pink pigment, which I will then use on top of the already pink body for added color depth. And that's the plan for the body. Now, the neck. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go a slightly different direction on the neck. Uh, the neck is not gonna be pink. It is gonna be tinted though. And I got some color tone vintage amber tint, which I have mixed up here with some water to get sort of an effect. And I have a sample here. I can show you what that looks like. It looks like this. You can see no, no stain here, stain here. So it just adds a little nice depth. However, on the neck, I'm not gonna be using polyurethane because I like to mix it up and I like to learn new things. So after I've stained it, I'm gonna be using True Oil. I have seen many people recommend this product as an alternative to regular lacquer, so I figured I would try it. And um, the neck seems like an easy place to try it, so I'm gonna do that. That is the plan for the body and neck in terms of finish. Um, I don't have at this point in time, I haven't fully decided on upgrades yet. I'm still leaning towards maybe upgrading the nut and possibly the tuners. I'm keeping the bridge. I'm keeping the um, Music Man style humbucker bass pickup. And um, I also gotta find a strap for it. I need a nice pink strap. If anybody knows anybody, that makes a pink strap, especially if it's the pinkest pink, feel free to let me know. I've started buying guitar straps that match the guitar that I'm working on. I, I don't know, I feel like it, they, it sort of ties the room together, if you know what I mean. 